These two shards of metal are the smallest objects in my collection, but have the most profound historic importance an instrument could have. I'm Dr. Kathleen Weens, and I'm a curator here at the Musical Instrument Museum in Phoenix, Arizona. One of the most exciting parts of my job here as a curator is the opportunity to tell a meaningful story using musical instruments. Oftentimes, those stories are meaningful to one community, but can also resonate with a broader human story. Mim is proud to display, for the first time to the public, two organ pipe remnants from the Neue Synagogue in Berlin, Germany. In the mid-19th century, the growing Jewish community of Berlin built a huge synagogue. It had more than 3,000 seats, the largest synagogue in Germany and probably the largest anywhere in the world at the time. During World War II, the interior of the Neuss Synagogue was totally destroyed by organized pogroms and by a series of bombings. The giant four-manual, 90-stop organ built by Germany's Volker organ building family was also destroyed. In 1958, the Jewish community that was recreated in Berlin was ordered to demolish the remaining parts of the synagogue, but those that were only damaged were not uh, restored. These precious remnants were salvaged by Hans Hirschberg when he returned to Berlin after the Second World War. The organ shards eventually found their way to the Feyer Jewish Music Center at the Beit Hatfutzat Museum of the Jewish People in Tel Aviv. We are grateful to Beit Hatfutzat that they have allowed us to be the guardians of these small, modest pieces, which, when compared with the huge dimensions of what used to be one of the largest synagogues in Europe, enable us to grasp the magnitude of the events of the Second World War. The Neuss Synagogue has now been reconstructed and now stands as the Iranian Burgerstrasse Synagogue. This is another opportunity to remember those people and what happened to them. And what happened to the people is by far more important than what happened to the buildings. So if we use these two pieces to remember the people and what happened to them and to make sure that things like this will not happen again to anyone in the world, it is very important. While we look back at the events of the Second World War, which impacted music across Europe in very serious ways, we also look into the future of Jewish music in Europe. I invite you to MIM to witness a part of this history. <laughs>